Okay, so here's the kit from LMI. Now, this is a kit that I have put together specifically for my students, and the item number is KLSRO. Now, I've put together certain components and materials in this kit to make it easier for you to build your guitar. LMI has a service on their website called the LMI Kit Wizard. If you go to the website, you can use a template for what comes in a kit and you can substitute certain items. However, I recommend, I highly recommend, that if this is your first build, you do not make any substitutions. The materials that I've chosen in this kit are for aesthetics, for tonal reasons, and also for ease of workability. So I highly recommend that you do not make any substitutions or any changes to the kit at this time. So let's go ahead and open up the kit and I'll talk about each of the components and show you what actually comes in the kit. Once again, this is item number KLSRO from LMI. So I'm gonna start by opening the kit. Now the kit comes very well packed from the folks at LMI. And I'm just gonna pull things out as I see them here. This is a set of black, white, black purflings. This is to go around the top edge of your guitar, the soundboard, where the uh, binding meets the edges of the soundboard, also used around the rosette. Fret wire. Here we've got a set of uh, veneers for the peghead veneer. All right, so inside here, veneer for the headstock, and that's in maple. Also a pick guard and a traditional herringbone rosette. LMI white glue. This is instrument maker's glue, specifically from LMI, and I recommend this glue for your guitar. It dries a little bit harder than your typical tight bond, and I've had good success with this over the years, so that's what we'll be using. And I've specifically asked LMI to put that in the Robert O'Brien kit, the one we're going to use for the for the course here. That way you don't have to go out looking for glue. Ebony fretboard, truss rod, this is brace wood when it comes time to brace our top, Sitka spruce, one of the most important items in the kit, DVD, made by yours truly. This is a slideshow audio format that I put together years ago for my students at the college and it's worked very well over the years. I highly recommend that you watch this before you even start the build. This will uh, get you familiar with the steps. It's just another way of me getting information to you. Of course, in the video lessons, I'm gonna go into it with video and audio rather than still shots and audio, and it's much more in depth. But this will get you uh, in the ball game and know what to expect when you start the build. Here we've got some small components, uh, bridge pins. I've got some uh, fret marker, I've got uh, the bone nut and saddle, small odds and ends there. Here I've got a neck blank and attached to the neck blank I've got center reinforcement strip for the back, I've got bindings, I've got kerfing and I'll talk about all of these components as we build and talk about the pros and cons and why I've actually chosen these materials for this kit. All right, here Indian rosewood, back and sides. Very nice set here. Beautiful stuff. And Sitka spruce top. Also very nice top. Getting on down into it here. Ebony bridge, Indian rosewood bridge patch. I've got a maple in wedge and Headstock veneer, piece of ebony there. Oh yeah, a set of plans, we might need those. Uh, this is a set of OM plans, and we will be building an OM model uh, guitar in this course. Let me say something else about the plans. I make some changes to these plans. As we arrive to that point where it comes time to brace and voice the soundboard, I'll talk about some of the changes I make to the plans. LMI binding tape. This we'll need when, we, when it's time to put in our bindings. Heel block and end block. This is what our sides are going to attach to. Mahogany brace wood. 
and a set of tuners. Now, this is something I will allow you to make a change on. This is kind of a personal preference. What I've done is just thrown in a very decent quality uh, Goto uh, gold tuners. If you want the silver tuners, if you want the nickel or the satin, or you want to go with ebony knobs, that's a substitution you can make. Other than that, we've just got peanuts in there. So let's start building. <laughs> 